Hey guys, Rusty, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Cool, hey? Hey guys, Rusty here, and today I do want to talk Titan Forging. Now, normally I don't make these types of videos, however, it's pretty much gotten to the point where I don't know what's worse Titan Forging or Halo 5. I lied, it's Halo 5. I mean, come on, that's an easy one. Now, there are two big issues that I see with Titan Forging. Now, the first one is going to be the fact that it's so random that it pretty much diminishes any type of joy that you get from getting a gear upgrade, unless you get a maxed out Titan Forge piece of loot. Now, the second issue I feel that Titan Forging causes is the fact that Mythic Rating, the hardest content that the game has to offer, no longer awards the best gear in the game. Even in WAD, if you wanted the best gear in the game, the highest item level gear, you had to mythic rate. You couldn't get it through heroic and below. Now, I want to talk about this issue first, and I want to compare the amount of effort between mythic rating and an LFR raider. So, if you want to clear the entire rate of mythic, push for cutting edge, you have to apply to a guild. You cannot pug mythic. Good, good luck getting cutting edge in a pug. You need to apply to a guild. You need to commit to that guild schedule. For example, my guild rates three nights a week, three hours a night. I get friends that call me up. Hey, Want to go out and get some food? Nah, sorry, dude. I'm Mythic raiding. All right, see you, loser. And then you spend hundreds of wipes for, especially some of the later bosses, you spend hours, weeks, months, hundreds of wipes on these bosses until you eventually get it. Mythic raiding obviously takes much more effort than someone who clicks a button, joins a queue, gets into the raid, goes AFKs to go take a dump, comes back and gets a 415 piece of loot. The Zara lore mythic gear equivalent. Now I know what people are going to say. They're going to say that someone who only raids at LFR, getting a piece of loot that Titan forges all the way up to mythic raid level, let alone getting a full set of it, is astronomically low. And you know what? Yeah, they're right. However, it's still an issue. The fact that someone, the fact that there's even the chance that that can happen, is a problem. I put all that effort in the mythic rating. If I go inspect someone and I see they're wearing a 415 piece of loot that they got from looking for raid. I am pissed off. Let me give you two examples of, in real life, of when this is an issue. Maybe you'll understand it a little more. You go to McDonald's. There's two people at McDonald's, one at, one at each register. You give $5. You both order a 10-piece nugget. One guy guesses 10-piece nuggets. Cool. The guy to the right of him says, lucky day. His chicken nuggets, McNuggets, sorry. They McForge all the way up to a 40-piece nugget. They both paid the same amount of money, however, the guy on the right got more nuggets because he got lucky. Let me give you another example. Let's say you have two guys. One guy's working a job that requires a lot of effort. Let's say he's building a spaceship. He gets paid $50,000 for it. You have another guy who's working a really easy job. Let's say he's cutting a piece of paper in half and gets paid $5 for it. Now, clearly, the other guy is getting paid more, the, the guy's building a spaceship, because it requires more effort. He's being rewarded more. However, the guy who's doing the easy job gets, he gets, it's his lucky day. His paycheck Titan forges all the way up to $50,000 just because he got lucky. No additional skill or effort required. He just got lucky. If I'm the guy who put all that effort into building the spaceship, there's a reason I'm getting paid more. If I see some guy getting paid the same amount as me just because I got lucky or he got lucky, yeah, I'm going to be pretty upset. And the same thing goes in WoW. I put all that effort in the mythic rating. I deserve the best gear in the game, not someone who just got lucky. And it, it, I feel like it's going to make people ask, what's the point of mythic rating? If I'm someone who cares about getting the best loot in the game, then I'm not going to bother mythic rating. There's no point. It requires way too much effort compared to even heroic difficulty, which is usually puggable within the first month or two of a raid releasing, obviously depending on the raid. You don't even need a guild for it, so why am I going to bother with Mythic when I could just go into Heroic and hope for a Lucky Warforge or Titanforge up to that Mythic raid quality gear? Now, for me personally, I am not that person. I raid for that sense of accomplishment that you get from defeating a super difficult raid boss. Basically, that same feeling you get from beating Dark Souls if you ever played that. Especially Dark Eater mid -year. Anyways. I'm not that person. I would have quit a long time ago, probably some point in Legion, and honestly, I probably would have quit WoW at that point. Now, I want to go into the second issue I have with Titan Forging, and also just basically gear RNG in general, which is the fact that unless I get a decked out piece of gear, I'm talking max Titan Forge, tertiary stat, gem slot, I'm not happy. I'm depressed. Now, the reason for that is, sure, even if you get, I don't know, let's say, so the Zara Lore Gear, Mythic Difficulty is 415 right now. Let's say you get a Warforge, let's say you get a Max Titan Forge up to 425. That's awesome, dude, right? No, I'm still upset because then I'm thinking to myself, man, yeah, this is cool and all, 425, nice max item level. Could have had a gem slot, though. 
could have had a tertiary stat, though. Essentially, unless the stars align, I get that Max Titan Forge tertiary stat gem socket. I don't care how good the loot is, unless it's that good. I'm always going to be thinking to myself, it could have been better. And it's a depressing and salty feeling to have. And I truly believe it is toxic for the game. Now, another thing that all this loot RNG, Titan Forging, all this crap has gotten rid of is the best in slot list. Now, I do feel this is a more of a minor issue, personally, however, I still feel it's important to talk, because it's something I enjoy. I always thought the idea of the best in slot, getting best in slot gear for your character, the best gear your character could get, was cool. You could go there and do the maximum DPS your character could do. I always thought that was kind of cool. All this loot RNG, and Titan Forge especially, just d deletes it. Not, it's non-existent. It is possible to get, obviously, however, it's completely unrealistic for you to achieve that. And I don't like it. Now... I feel like Titan Forging can be good. However, it's, it's simple. Just add a deterministic way to counteract the RNG of Titan Forging. Now, this is also a way to simply solve the other issue I talked about before, which is the fact that Mythic Rating, the hardest difficulty in the game, hardest content in the game, doesn't reward the best gear in the game. Now, I'm going to use two popular ideas that I, at least that I feel are popular in the community right now. The first one, they're both really simple. The first one more than the other. First one, it's, it's simple. Just add a cap. Just add a cap, for example. Let's, so let's use uh, Battle of the Zara Lore right now. Uh, Mythic the Zara Lore gear is 415 item level. Heroic the Zara Lore gear is 400 item level. Just make it so that Heroic the Zara Lore gear, it cannot Titan Forge to 415. It can only Titan Forge to item level 410. Making it, it's the same thing with the other difficulties. So for example, Normal 385, it can only Titan Forge to 395, making Heroic better. Same, so on and so forth for the other difficulty. This still makes it so that Mythic Rating drops the absolute best gear in the game. The hardest content in the game drops the best gear in the game. Makes sense, right? I truly feel this is a simple solution to, the, to that problem. I, I really feel it's that easy. Now, I want to talk about the solution to the other problem where if you don't get, if you get a piece of gear, it feels bad unless you get that max Titan Forge and all the other stuff. Now, if Blizzard flat out said, we're removing Titan Forging, hey, listen, I'm not going to complain. You know, hey, Blizzard, do it. Just, just do it. I'm not going to complain. However, I feel there is a better solution than to just flat out remove it. And that's simply add a deterministic way to counteract the RNG of Titan Forging. Now, what do I mean by this? Again, let's use Battle of the Zara Lore gear. So, Mythic drops four item level 415 gear. However, it can Titan Forge or War Forge. They're basically the same thing. Let's be real, guys. It's just all numbers there. We'll just use Titan Forging. It can Titan Forge up to four item level 425, right? It's random. So let's say you don't get that. You get a 415 piece loot from a Mythic boss. It doesn't Titan Forge up to 425. It's simple. You could eventually you earn this currency. Let's just let's just use valor points. Screw it. We'll use valor points. You earn valor points by killing these raid bosses. And eventually, once you get enough valor points, you could I don't know. You could go to the Titan Forge and manually Titan Forge that gear five item levels at a time. So you could take it to 420 and eventually upgrade it all the way to 425. Again, it's a deterministic way to upgrade your gear and counteract the Titan Forge or the RNG of the Titan Forge. However, your gear can also Titan Forge to 425 so you don't have to spend that currency. It still keeps that excitement that Blizzard always talks about and why they are so such big fans of Titan Forging, or at least one of the reasons why they're such big fans. Now, you could also do this for the socket and the tertiary set, except instead of using a currency, hey, why don't you make professions relevant? Use blacksmiths for, again, you could randomly get your tertiary stat or a socket. If you don't, if you don't get your socket, go to a blacksmith. Have them craft a socket into your gear. Hey, you didn't get a tertiary stat? Go to a scribe. Inscription is scribe? Yeah, whatever. Go to that person. Have them put a, put a tertiary stat on your gear. Again, these are all deterministic ways to counteract the RNG on the loot right now. While still keeping that RNG in there so that if, I don't know, you get a 425 piece of gear with a tertiary stat and a socket, yeah, that's, then that's cool. However, if you don't, you don't have that feeling of, wow, it, it could have been better. This, this sucks. Now you get the feeling of, yeah, this is good. And eventually I'm going to get it to a best in slot item when I fully upgrade it, add my own socket, and then add my own tertiary stat. I truly feel that it's a nice, simple, and honestly, I think that's a better way than just flat out removing tight forging. Although, again, I, I, I wouldn't complain if it did. Now, is Blizzard going to add any of this stuff? To be honest, I have no clue. On one hand, it seems like they're doing really good stuff. On, on the other hand, I question what the hell they're doing over there. For example, let's talk about the essence system just real quick, brief. I want to talk about the acquisition method. 
The way you acquire them, it's all deterministic. For example, you get one that drops off normal mode, Ajara, Queen Ajara, in the new raid. The next one drops, or the better one drops off Heroic Queen Ajara, then eventually you have the cosmetic only one, which basically augments the appearance, that drops off Mythic Queen Ajara, which is awesome. I love it. It's completely de deterministic. You could target how you get your essences or where they come from. It feels like what Legion Legendary should have been, at least in terms of the acquisition method. No RNG involved. I love it. Now, that's a good thing. And then you have them doing things, or at least saying things, like the reason they don't have PvP vendors is because people don't know where to find them. And if they do find them, they'll sometimes buy the wrong item. Which, by the way, Blizzard, they could still do that. When you turn in your Conquest reward, you could still buy a piece of Azurai gear or turn in a piece of Azurai gear with the wrong traits or get an item with the wrong stats. Sometimes it feels like they're designing the game for people that are dumber than this bottle of water. I don't know what they're doing over there, so they might add it, they might not. My money is on adding. On, on the not adding it, though, to be honest, guys. Anyways, guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. I don't do this often. I did enjoy making it, though, so thank you very much for watching. I love you all.